All right, YouTube, I wanted to bring you guys something I would, wouldn't normally video. I run a lot of these U-Haul trailers to move um, a lot of like, cargo, I guess, around when traveling. It just comes in really handy. So I wanted to give a review. I thought it'd be appropriate since I just reviewed one of their trucks, their 26-foot truck. So this is the 5x8 U-Haul, the enclosed U-Haul. And I know I'm kind of a, a critic of their trucks, but I absolutely love their trailers. Their trailers are very well made. Uh, they, they pull great, handle well, don't leak at all. I've never had a bad one, and I've rented quite a few. Now, this isn't the smallest one. The smallest one is a, I believe it's a 4x6 or 4x, something along those lines. 4x8 uh, maybe. Something really small. And then after this one, they have the... Uh, 5 by 10 which I've never pulled before. Uh, I think they're getting rid of those mainly in their fleet because uh, the ones that I've seen before, the 5 by 10s are really old and don't add the newer graphics on it. And the biggest one they rent out to you is a 6 by 12. I have pulled that one. It's the uh, tandem axle trailer and uh, it pulls nicely as well. Just It handles well like this. Now the 6 by 12 is a really heavy trailer and it has a uh, a braking system on the tongue if your car doesn't have brakes or uh, doesn't have trailer brakes it's got a uh, surge brake protection system type braking system kind of pushes against your car and then the tongue kind of acts as your brake pedal but yeah uh, this was this 5 by 8 here now uh, most of their trailers are well all their trailers uh, enclosed trailers are aluminum and fiberglass some of them I believe are completely aluminum the older ones but they're aluminum and fiberglass so they're really light this trailer empty like it says now weighs roughly about 900 pounds and so it's pretty light for a trailer uh, you know if you made it in steel it'd be significantly heavier you cannot buy these trailers I think if U-Haul made these trailers to sell uh, I think they would put themselves out of business because they're so good um, they're proprietary trailers so when they're done with them they just scrap them and build another one and most of their boxes and stuff they do that and these features are really similar to what you see on like the trucks, the aluminum construction. But uh, this is the smaller one. Uh, you can see this is a 2013 model made by U-Haul, obviously. A little information, you guys can read it. Uh, and then underneath, as you can see, it's completely aluminum or galvanized steel construction. I believe most of it's aluminum. Uh, single axle. It, uses Carlisle um, CT2040 tires. Now I think if, if anybody has issues with the U-Haul trailers it's usually from the tires blowing out and stuff like that. Uh, you can't really prevent that really. I mean obviously good maintenance. Obviously the company and its employees should inspect the trailer but obviously sometimes it doesn't happen like that. Sometimes it's got to flip through but uh, they do have good roadside assistance. I've never had to use it but I've heard good things and bad things about it but mainly good things. So, let's see here. I mean, you can easily tell the age of the tire by just looking at the date. You can see here, 0317. Usually, I believe that means it's a 2017. So it's a fairly new tire. Uh, the rim's kind of rusted. It could use a paint job. The trailer's all LEDs, you can see. Very bright lights. It's kind of hard. The video doesn't give it justice, but they're pretty bright. Uh, I don't know why it's registered in Florida. Most of them are in Arizona. It has a light here that comes on. It comes on only at night. It's got a light sensor on it to turn it on and turn it off. Uh, same thing on this side. They have the graphics uh, package for like all the states. And usually there's actually an Easter egg, a little tiny guy on each one that you can find. Uh, it's not on this one though. I'm pulling it with my ridge line. It pulls it just fine. Like I said, it weighs uh, 900 pounds empty, and it is capable of, I want to say it's 1,800 pounds. So this being the 5x8, uh, it's got a, you can put your lock there, if you want to lock it shut, I suggest doing that. Open it like a semi-truck kind of trailer thing. Open it up, you, your dimensions are uh, 4 foot wide, and 4, and a, four foot 8 inches tall, I believe. I believe that's correct. You can find all the dimensions on U-Haul. Of course, U-Haul is famous for all their crazy warning stickers. It's got an aluminum bed, which just like the trucks, 
It's a very nice feature to have is the aluminum beds. You got tie downs on the side here. You can strap things to you. Very sturdy. You got tons of tie down points within the tra within the trailer up top here. Down here, you got some right here. You can also tie to the actual wood portion. Um, this is important. You got to level your load. Make sure it's uh, mostly in the, the front. That's another issue. This actually demonstrates it pretty good. If you load it wrong, it kind of acts as like a cantilever uh, in the trailer, and you it kind of you get start getting trailer sway and kind of jackknife your vehicle. Not very safe. So you want to balance it pretty good. Pretty much know the weight of the stuff going in. Empty trailer weight is uh, 1090, which uh, it differs a little bit from the uh, 900 it says on the website. Yep. Pretty nice trailer. Tons and tons and tons of warning labels. Very big. Very useful. I mean, this I had this trailer for three days, I believe, and it was 30 bucks total. So definitely worth, like, if you have, I have an open trailer too. I own an open trailer. And I'd rather use this because, you know, risking the rain going through it, totally worth 30 bucks for three days. So up here at the tongue, it's got a weird tongue system. Uh, you can't lock it. I don't, I'm not sure why. But it's kind of got the twist lock. You push down this and twist it onto the ball. That's so you can have different size balls. Uh, your lights, this is a normal four pin connection. If you had the trailer brake um, trailer, you'd have the big, uh, like a little hydraulic tank, a big spring, and that way the trailer can sh move in and out uh, according to, you know, if you're braking or not. Cross chains is pretty normal. No jacks on these because most of them, you're not supposed to take it off once you connect it. They're pretty easy to pick up and move. One person can move it around pretty easy. I guess if you get one, you get AV1211M. That's the one I had. So if you get one, if you get this one, let me know if you end up with the same one I have. You see where it goes across the country. But overall, uh, the 6x12 is huge. It's really heavy. The 6x12 is a really heavy trailer. But it is very large and can fit tons of stuff. Uh, this 5i, it's a good size. For like a small car, I wouldn't go any bigger than this. I don't know if you can. Uh, you'd be pushing it. Uh, this does say it fits a queen size mattress, I think, on one of these doors. Yeah, holds queen size bed. But something interesting as well, all the U-Haul parts, like every, even the little tiny stuff, they imprint U-Haul on it, which is cool. Even on the tires, the tires are, um, so you can see it's embedded into the tire. It says property of U-Haul. Every little, like even the nuts and bolts say U-Haul on them. So that's kind of cool that they keep that. They, they know what works and what doesn't. They've been around for a while. All right, um, like, like I said, I, I don't like the U-Haul trucks. I just think they're not very well taken care of. But I do believe the trailers are, are very nice. I mean, you can go over here. These trailers are inspected once a month. They're supposed to be or every three months or whatever. And you can actually go through and see where all this trailer's been. Uh, North Carolina. This one's Tennessee. Pennsylvania. Who knows where else it's been. Louisiana. Yeah, this thing's been around uh, all over South Carolina. So yeah, it's inspected. I believe the trucks are, but there's a little bit less to go wrong with the uh, trailers. But all right, uh, let me know what you guys think. I like these trailers. I'm not sure. I, I think for the trucks, I'd go with Penske or Ryder budget maybe. But uh, let me know. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Hopefully this was helpful.